Hi guys, Ben from Break for Assault here, and today I've got two unboxings for you for the new tanks game coming out from Gale Force 9. And we have the Panzer IV and the Stug G. Uh, these are the expansion sets and each come with one tank and about £7 or $10. US dollars. We're going to look at the uh, Panzer IV to start with. Here's uh, the camera look, and um, you'll see you've got the one, one tank kit, uh, some stack cards and some upgrade cards, and the instructions. The um, instructions are fairly straightforward. Uh, this is not a complicated kit to put together, so if you are new to miniature gaming, this should be fine for you. Uh, the tank is the same as the normal Battlefront tank, uh, same as we've seen with the radio, the Panther and the um, Shermans, uh, but it just comes in the German yellow. So um, if you don't want to paint, you don't need to. The important thing is the Shirtson has got seven, sorry, five, not seven, seven uh, five panels. Uh, I like the original one. So now we're going to the stack cards. Now this is kind of uh, one of the important things. And if you play a game like X-Wing, you'll kind of, kind of understand this. So you've got the Panzer IV stack card. Now for every Panzer IV, you do need one of these. So they get one in the main box. You need more. But this is the important bit, the upgrade. So every time you use an upgrade, you need the card for the tank. You get one of each in the box, in the box game. But really going to need more, so you're probably going to want to pick up ones. Now, unfortunately, I can't quite see what these say, unfortunately, with the screen I'm using to do the um, commentary on this. So if you can. Um, but each set does come with a different, with a different one. So you get a, na a National Tank Commander, and then you get what well, looks, I think, about four or five upgrades there. So that's crew and uh, tank upgrades, so like engine or um, armor or gunner for the crew ones. Okay, so now we're going to look at the, um, the Stug. This is basically exactly the same um, as we've just seen there. So um, you've got the instructions as before. Uh, this one's, this tank's slightly more complicated to put together and actually has quite a few options. So um, I don't think the options really make a difference at the moment because it's only the Stug G, but you have got the different barrels. That might be something that comes in later on, I guess. Um, going on to the stack cards, again, you've got the, um, you've got the main... The main stack card there for the um, for the Stug, um, and again you do need one of these for every single Stug you take. And then you've also got the um, the unit upgrade, or so the tank upgrade cards. I probably should say not unit. Um, also have it there. Um, so again you've got the generic ones, and it's obviously even if you're British or Soviet player, you got to see where these come from. So you all got got the normal world symbol there, which means anyone can take them. And then you've got the German tank commander at the end. Now, uh, both these tanks are very cheap, so you're probably going to want to pick what, one of each, or two of one, probably, to go along with your pamphlet from the main box set. Um, it's a recommended retail price about £7. I'm sure you'll find them cheaper elsewhere. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing, give you an idea what's coming in the set. Um, please stay tuned for more videos coming soon.